two different things. Gotcha. I know. Don't, uh, I believe don't, that. No, no, I believe don't that. Don't tell he, Sua. I thought he stepped in his. Shout out to Sua. But uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and take a look at the bad band. Two different things. Yeah. So, Bank and Border are obviously going to be off the list. After that, Rogue, they're going to jump on the board, banning Villa. Mm. And um, I think it's going to go to Cafe. Looking like it. Yeah, Cafe. Good. All right. Good God. Yeah. Man, Valley has been on point today. I mean, I looked at it right here, so. <laughs> I could have played it off, but hey. <laughs> I actually knows? didn't see it. I'm like, <laughs> I believe it. I'm like, yo, this guy's. I'm sitting here casting with Nostradamus. You know it. <laughs> All right, Veli Damas. Um, Rogue predicted the win with 62% of the votes. If you have Twitter, we put out polls all the time. Make sure you go ahead and check it out often. And, um, if you don't have a Twitter, then make sure you create one and go and follow us on there as well yeah. as our social media. They sell Rainbow Six. Yeah, so, all the matches. Do you agree with this? Uh, How much was the percentage for draws? 62. Oh, draw? Like 14, something like that. You know? I you can think it's going to be a draw? I think so. Really? I, I think so. I think Rogue has an advantage, but it can, it can go for a draw. Um, this, the Sonic's kind of... Okay, they they tied EG66, and you're like, okay, this is like the whole... Gonfie and Slabin can't play. Yeah. Avian is playing on a laptop. Fair enough. And you go to play day 11. They've been cleared. Slabin and Gonfie can play. Sonic's play reciprocity, and they get absolutely dumpstered 7-2. Yeah, but you know what though? Like I still give them, you know, warm up. I guess maybe uh, when you're when you're in between four players for two positions and there's so much back and forth and and drama going on, you can't say that that doesn't you know affect you at all as a team. I mean, if you have to practice with your team, you're constantly switching out four players for two rows. I mean that that's a lot to pick up on. It's really hard to create um, an environment where synergy and chemistry is actually a thing. And now that things are solidified with the visas, um, I expect Sonics to really take off from this point on. Get, okay, guess what SSG's favorite type of food is? What? Thai food. <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty funny. Uh, credit to um, XXX Black underscore Jesus XXX on, on Reddit for that, that, for that, that joke. Funny. There you go. We, we check it. Thai food. It's hilarious. Thai food is great overall. It, you but guys are something else in this Rainbow Six. Yeah, it's it's like Goddess is infecting everybody with her, with her stream death. titles. Yeah, I love her stream titles, Lauren. It's hilarious. Shout out to Lauren. She's playing in here. All right, Goddess. Yep, Scott. She's gonna be your hard breacher on Habana, and um, yeah, obviously Gridlock is gonna be on play. Um, ever since Gridlock was introduced and she was allowed to be played in the pro professional scene. We've seen her. She's pretty much been a staple of almost every lineup that we've seen on Cafe. And with this being one of the least chosen maps, um, I wonder how much experience they have playing against each other on this. Now, I'd like to remind you guys that when the rework for this map came out, Rogue actually won an event because of how dominant they were on this map. I believe yeah. they played the map seven to eight times, and they won DreamHack because of it. DreamHack they, Valencia. Yeah, and they, they they did. I was I was there, and we were watching it, and we're like, "Holy crap!" No what one, is no going one on? banned Cafe. They played it. They played it up until the grand final, and everybody kept taking to taking them to him. And granted, Rogel was was winning this game like this this map seven five, like close close, but they were winning. So. Hey, who knows what it was with? Maybe, you know, better on land. Maybe it's just the U teams that were super well versed with it at that time. I would say, I mean, it's it's a newer map. And Rogue just happened to be the team that dominated it. They were always good at it in the past. Yeah, I heard about that as well. So, I mean, that could be in play. But now we can go ahead and judge that with their performance against Sonics. They are going to start off on defense. And defensive side is really, really dominant on this map. So, Sonics, they're going to have, you know, a hell of a task ahead of them, but it's all going to start off clearing out Cigar Lounge and the rest of the third floor. They can work their way down Red Hat and clear out Piano and work their way down low, top to bottom. They can be successful getting into sight. But it doesn't seem like their own presence has been slowing them down yet. But even if they do and somebody plans to make a rotation or a flank, Neptune is already on top of it, putting out air jabs, and he has one more left at his disposal. Man. Seeing seeing that sight actually on the AK is 
pretty pretty odd. It's it's not a usual sight to, to behold, literally. Yes, join the quad. And yes, Mozzie is gonna scream it out as it is done. Okay. Gonna be able to catch onto one now. I will confirm Reaper, as you were saying. Very correct, Veli. I I don't know if you said it or not. I'm literally just realizing it was that just the, is in the game. It was just the distinction between the two positions, I guess. Neptune's comes up and yeah, Mozzie looking the wrong way. Slash will be the first eliminated. Sonics are really doubling down on this and making sure that Rogue just have no ways of maneuvering around this map. And the Ying is definitely not an op that we've really seen much. I mean, just played a few times here and there, but such a rare operator nowadays um, that having the Candelas and Breaching Charges is actually pretty good because you can breach all the floorboards and you can candela from above using the alternate fire on the candelas. You don't, you can't just throw them. You can also lock them in like a fuse charge onto floorboards or onto walls. Something that a lot of people forget, but it's actually deadlier than you might imagine. All right, drone play coming in, and unfortunately that Mazi went down because I'm pretty sure he could have used some of those drones on his end. But Neptune's still one of the hottest hands in the game, able to get a 2K as easily gets the refrag on Slappin. Your Candela currently going off, and yeah, this is not going to mean much. The push isn't going to be effective because Ying is currently out the game. Pretty unfortunate for Sonics, but with less than 30 seconds left to go, looking at a 3v3 now as Rogue levels Gonfi with a beautiful headshot. But he's going to hold it down over here in coat check. And with another challenger currently coming, oh, oh, he's ready for it, but not ready enough. God has put him in the body bag. Vert goes down and easily. Oh, no, no. Yes. Hold on. They're running into smoke. Him. He's able to get the down. The double kill. Shadow almost making magic happen. But Neptune yeah. comes through, and he is still fracking out of his mind. Rogue, they're going to come away with round number one. But wow, Milos, there was a lot going on right there. Okay. Shadow was going off. You had Vertical oh, like having a great game, and Neptunes. That, that, that was so great. Goddess hits the shot off of the vault oh. into, into Kochek. Beautifully done there. And just the smoke was there to cover. Unfortunately, the UMP was just firing through the smoke. You were expecting somebody to rush in. Honestly. That was this was that was a crazy ending. That was insane. I you know, love that round. You you know what the crazy thing is? Ying literally had no effect on that round. <laughs> I would have loved to see Ying in the late game scenario, and it's pretty unfortunate because when Ying used her candela, she died before it even went off. So we never saw the real potential she could have had it with an impact in that round. But this time around, we might go ahead and and have a as Parker calls it a mulligan. What does a mulligan mean? I think it's like a, a redo, a take back or something. <laughs> he said it last time on the podcast. Again, I don't... I don't Ying is going to be in play. Slab is going to bring Ying back. <laughs> Shut up. But, Man, um, it's like... Okay, but look, let me Google it. Look who else is on the board. We have Warden. So this is what I've been waiting to see. I never... I thought we were done seeing Ying in the game. But she's back now. Huh. So a mulligan is a second chance to perform an action, usually oh. after the first chance went wrong through bad luck or a blunder. So, oh, interesting. Chat, can I get a mulligan? <laughs> Shout out to Parker. <laughs> Man, you're going to need a mulligan and a rain check on that. <laughs> no, I, I, I really hope that the stars align and we see Slash and Slebin clash because Warden is going to be the immediate and only counter no, not the only counter. And you know what the, the best thing about Warden? The immediate counter to Ying. And he's the best counter to the Flash, you know? Yeah. Flash and the Clash. Okay. <laughs> Yo, get me a little shot The Flash. <laughs> get him out of here. <laughs> Stop. It's, it's it. You get had it. it. You had it. You, you, I did. You messed it up, man. I'm sorry, man. You, I'll make you proud. It was right there. I'm always proud I'm of trying, you. I'm trying to fill Imzo's shoes that you, you duo in. Um, Imzo has me on the joke. Unfortunately, right there's no clown shoes for you to fill today. I love you, Dev. <laughs> Unfortunate. But um, Goddess, she, yeah, she's getting the job done. Knocking down the barricades, you know, getting in the thick of the action. And they're definitely aware that she's there now. We hear the air jabs currently in play. And when you, when you put Nomad together with Gridlock, that is the ultimate rotation of flank denial you can have on your team. Ultimate flank rotation denial. So Sonic's, their entire lineup right now is actually extremely interesting. And I wonder if Gumphy actually knows that there's a player right where he was utilizing the life. Uh, oh! 
Your bag! He's sports ready! But yeah, you can't shoot the bag. <laughs> It doesn't, it, you can't do anything to it. Oh boy, Splash, oh, no. Vertical Eclipse, Go Ham, Susquehanna Sonics absolutely demolished. Neptune get, gets one kill for his effort, but the work's already been done. Uh, this, this, is, this is all but over. Um, good God, what just happened? Just domination. Just, <laughs> whew, that, all right. That backpack is I heard a Candela pop off, and I'm like, okay, I saw kills, and I was like, oh, this is working for Sonics. No, this is working for Rogue, okay? <laughs> is the backpack still there? Yes, and you can't hit pers the, the guy with the backpack. Come on, Super. Maestro is I know you're starving quick. for kills, but that's not how you get him. Neptune's going to get filled here by Slash, leave Super alone. He's got four to deal with. And let's see if he can oh, back up no. the talk with this move. Oh, this is bad. You can't do anything. No. It's all over. I, I wouldn't. I'm, Look at the angles. <laughs> I wouldn't really put it against him. He's on his own. Yeah. Shot. The warden's ready. And slash with the SMG 12 even gets gets the kill. Sonics, uh, honestly, they fail so hard on that assault, and it's like it's like the three were moving, but <laughs> the, the other two were just nowhere near them to kind of even give them support and angles. I don't even know where they were diving down. You have no control piano. None. You didn't have any... Like, this is just... What are you doing with your time? You have all of this time, all this room for possibilities, and just abandoned. It was a surprise gone wrong. <laughs> they came through the door, surprise. And then, yeah, just got handled. That was pretty rough, man. But you know what, though? I'm going to have to give it to Sonics for, for bringing out some innovative thoughts when it comes to their strategy you know playing outside the norm bringing in ying and trying that type of strategy um you, you love to see changes like that here in pro league especially Attack gameplay in general so hey bomb. currently down 0-2 against roll they've been off to a pretty amazing start um pretty much making sure that sonics ran straight into a raw with their wall with their last push last round neptune's on top four and one but that doesn't mean much if your team isn't winning but Rogue on the other end, players all around, just killing everybody. And Warden is going to be on the board again. And this is the most I've ever seen Warden in my life. I love it. Yeah. Again, Slash, given his build, Slash would be a great, great person to you know, play the Warden. As you said, man runs around with a, with a suit. <laughs> yeah, my man means business. Yeah. He looks like um, Ned Flanders. <laughs> Ned Flanders and Stupid, Jim Gordon. Stupid, sexy Flanders. <laughs> Ned Flanders with a gun. Put him in siege and that's it. So, in regards to getting to the site, top floor clear is always a given. Come down Red Hatch. It's all about how you're going to go ahead and attack the piano and bar area. Sonics, let's see if they're going to bring any type of interesting push again. I love seeing it. I love the different type of strategies, but once again, I want to see it work this time around. No Ying, so it's going to be no Mulligan. And the drone work, Gumphy is going to go ahead and, yep, he's going to see Mozzie. So get that drone out of here before Mozzie tries to go ahead and hack it. Neptune's walk watching, and he really wants to take Mozzie out. Sonics are setting up and slowly to take through it. This is really the, what they needed to do in the previous round as well, but so many reinforcements oh. set up here by Rogue. Easily finds Gomfi. And he loses Zofia. CC is now out. Slevin unsure of when to move. He's got drones in front of him, giving him info. And Super's watching for rotations from White, but oh, no. a bit too slow. Oh, oh no! They trade! What? Super's on the floor, and he loses it as Vertical oh. dives on down. Slash is going to try to find him here, but they're actually going to let him go. It's like, you know what? It's not going to be able to do much anyways. And they're watching for anybody that comes in to save Super. That's insane. So Super had the jump, especially with the wall bang happening. And still, the trade happened. Comfy is going to go down. Vertical is going to get taken out the game as well. Look at that minute and five seconds left to play. And still, we see Sonics on the top four still working their way down. They've not yet cleared out the roamers, and Neptune's going ahead to get the revive. Slapin is going to start speeding up the process, getting a kill on shuttle. Now, two less players than to worry about. 
and that's going to give him a one player advantage. Super is going to be low in health, but he's still going to have the utility to help out. The two smoke grenades is going to be in his arsenal. Eclipse is going to be alive as post, but the nitro cell isn't there, so the verticality won't have such a big effect. Whoa. But oh, with this big engagement, slap in with the double kill. Eclipse just wasn't man enough to win that fight. And the European. Oh my. He's going to body people in route to a 2K to help Sonix go ahead and win this round. Whew. I didn't expect that. Good God. Slapping and Golfy, man. The Europeans came to play. And that's that's how you fix your team. You need to win. Call in the call, call bro, Euro. Call in the Euro Bros. <laughs> Always there to help you out. Oh. Sonics get the round off of it, but man. It's like <laughs> the first two rounds for Sonics are just so odd that finally having one a, a regular round is just Yes, thank you. Kitchen. Let's go. Same same sort of play as well from Rogue, maybe. We'll see what they have in mind. So the sporadic um, strategy and game plan that they have for the first two rounds obviously failed. Um, Ying died early the first time. Second time around, um, Ying died during the initial main push to get into the face of the defenders. Sonics, they went away from that. They said, all right, you know, let's go back to what we know. Let's just pick more of the regular meta and operators and, and win this the way that we know how to win it. They did it extremely well. And um, Slevin's dominance over on White Stairs, Jesus, man. But um, the, the whole trade between <laughs> Super and Comfy, that was nutty. That was actually nutty. All right, so this is going to be your lineup. And with Goddess as the objective player, let's see if she can go ahead and get the plant down or... If Sonics can frag their way to victory this round to tie things up with Rogue. Yeah, and, and the biggest mistake from Rogue when they played this site um, at the start of this matchup is that they lost Slash early on because they didn't have anybody yeah. to help him out. It was great play from Sonics to deal with him immediately, and so not having anyone to kind of shut them down as the round continues, take out a Nitro Cell, take out yeah. the Mozzie, pretty great operator. It was all because there was nobody in support. Now, after that, what happened? Sonics kind of got a bit too eager. And then went down brown stairs. They were fighting against uh, their opponents in CQC. Goddess won one gunfight, but then that was pretty much that was the it. end of it. Yeah. All right. So here it is already dropping down the red hatch. You're going to have Sophia holding hands with Jackal. Great little duo to have right now. And that's going to be Gumphy and Neptunes. Love Neptunes in this gameplay. It's one guy to where, you know, once the fire starts, it, it doesn't fizzle out at all. He's been doing pretty decent this game, but already the Inox are in play, and they've already pinged out a player. Slash up, already on the board. Slapping, fragged out the game. The Nitro Cell is not going to hit his mark, so all Slash currently has is just a Roni. Just a Roni. No more Nitro Cell, and um, hopefully he'll be able to hack a drone or two. With Gunfire currently coming in from Mining Room, he's trapped right now. And yeah, Super's gonna go ahead, night, night, put him to bed. And Sonic's at another decent start already. The Roamer is gonna be out. It's a minute and a half in, you lost the Ash, not great. Super will lose his drone as well to the Mossy now. So, you know, even though he's not there, he's still doing work. He's still in effect, yeah. That's really the power of the Mossy. But the client can do a lot of work as well from downstairs. See a lot of these pre-prepped holes from Kitchen. You can get many shots down. And with super solo on HP, it's like a repeat of um, two rounds ago where he's low on HP, he can be dealt with very easily. Is he going to have an effect at this point? And as long as he's alive and breaking through floorboards, it's great. It's exactly what you want him to be doing. So, so far, so good. The buck's going off, doing work. Thermite's being banned here by Rogue, which means you're going to have to rely so much on the Habana. Entries into the site will require those 3x Kairos to be used, and it gives you less angles to play with to watch Kitchen from Bakery. Neptunes has to watch for rotations here, as he has control of the hole, but he's got the bar and the, the closet to watch out for. The Jaeger oh. loses it. Oh, Neptunes and Goddess, two fantastic kills. This forces Eclipse and Shuttle. Back onto site. It's one kill for Eclipse, and he falls back. There's one coming in from Brownstairs. Gomfi already found it. Shuttle 
so close. He gets the diffuser down. There we go. Great kill for Shuttle. He falls back close to winning the gunfight there against Zofia. But Super has to push through. Oh, he's looking the wrong way. Shuttle goes for it. No! He saves it! Super gets it! And the buck might have been low on HP, but it gets the important frags. And that was all that was needed. There you go. Look at Super going off right now. Staying alive as Buck with minimal HP to his name, and he's still able to make it happen. Pretty unfortunate um, with the castle play. Doing one of my favorite <laughs> operators wrong. Yeah, needed that wave check, man. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, he took away the, the UMP and, and whipped out the pistol. And even though the player still crossed his line of sight looking the wrong way, he missed that shot. And that, that panic trigger finger definitely, definitely um, caused him on that one. All right, so this time around, I'm going to go to Bar and Cocktail Lounge. <laughs> Sonics, man. Um, two, in, two in a row. I love it. Attackers need to locate and defuse so. as many bombs as they can. Now Rogue again on the defense, and they go up to the bar. The Sonics, I, it, it really does prove that Kitchen is, is a hit or miss site. Yeah. Like, you're just not sure how it'll turn out. Shuttle's trying to set up his evil eye or his, his black eye there, and he'll be able to get it in place on the lamp. And it's going to have to flow through there. So a good spot. Difficult to spot or to see. And easily setting up. Ooh, some bullet holes here to use with the Alda. I'm not sure if Rogue will be playing with anybody downstairs, but I'd assume that you'd have maybe the Valkyrie playing white stairs and then Slash somewhere nearby in support. Easily should be playing the same spot as we saw before here um, with the reinforcement in front of him by the minibar. Yep, there we go. He's going to go to it. And he's got Maestro cameras as well to watch yeah. into the big one. So if we're gonna hold that down and strong Maestro play coming in from easily makes this map um, so much easier for the operators and his teammates all around him. And we all saw how much trouble getting Maestro out the way actually was for Sonics. Pretty much more concerned with his backpack, his butt sticking out the wall than anything else. You know, the Renouts came in and wiped Sonics out. They've yet to win a round on this site so far. But two rounds before halftime, they want to go ahead and start off on a clean slate, especially considering the fact that it's a tied game right now. It's even Steven and dropping down Red Hatch already, they're ready for action. But Vertical, already hiding behind this couch over in Piano Slash Christmas. He's looking to frag out, and yep, the aim is there, but it's not going to connect. The player got out the way right on time. They're so aggressive from Rogue to play so close up in Piano. Flashbang from Slubbin goes out. You have a grenade to deal with this. That would be great. And they're just wanna, wanting to burn the ADSs. Shuttle trying to spray him with the MPX. No damage done. And just eliminating drones. He's got all three ADSs to support him. Still has two more charges. Oh, did that waste two charges for one flashbang? I'm not sure <laughs> if that actually happened or it was two things thrown at him at the same time. But pressure to come in from white stairs as well. So Sonics are trying to push them back. But uh, I just... I wonder who's the player that's going for it. Is it, is it Super? Still pressuring in the same spot? Possibly. All right, now he's going for the drone. And yes, he is the one that's going to pressure in from White Stairs. So it's kind of something that you can predict, but he did a decent job at it before. And this is the big disadvantage of not having a Thermite. And that opening up these walls gets more difficult. You can push one player out of the the bathroom, but it's not going to matter much. Eclipse has already found Slubbin, and this is why it doesn't matter. He just yeah. plops out, and what are you going to do? And now you're left with an even smaller rotation hole, and not much to really play with because there's a hard wall behind it, and it's stopping you from moving out. Unfortunate play. You'd love to have somebody blasting those charges from below. But they walk in. Neptunes gets one and easily sprays for the other one. Neptunes just walking so close up to the Maestro. It's a flurry of kills, and Neptunes yeah. turns it into a two versus one. Eclipse last man alive. He gets the 2K, goes in for the reload, and he's got Diffuser. Huge play here. Skomfi has to rotate back and save the day for the Sonics. Zofiak pushing up close, Attackers takes a bit of damage from the reinforced wall, and they're getting the info, Five but the Zofia has moved back. He's gonna go and plant. Yes, to make That's so little time. Go for it at zero, and Eclipse hits the headshot. Rogue 
grab a round. Such an amazing effort by Eclipse. Um, it actually looked like Sonic's almost had the upper hand, but the one thing that was really slowing Sonic's down was the fact that Rogue just had more intel. With nothing to take out that evil eye over near Piano, I mean, Rogue were kind of two steps ahead of Sonic's at all times. They knew what their play was at all times. They were able to prepare even before the hard breaches even went off. Unfortunately, for Sonic's, they had no utility to go ahead and get rid of that. And now you're going to see Maverick on the board. So Maestro's evil eyes can go away thanks to Maverick's blowtorch. So um, bringing in that counter was definitely necessary. And Gonfia Zofia, I mean, that goes without saying that she can easily get rid of them as well. No, no, we're going to have a six pick. So Neptune is going to switch away from Maverick, and he's actually going to choose Jackal. Choosing Jackal could be a really big thing in this match, especially for the fact that Shuttle's on Mozzie, Pulse is in the game, and Vertical can possibly be roaming as well as Jaeger. Now, knowing exactly where those players are and that small time frame that Jackal was able to track them, that can make the biggest difference in the world. Especially when you have a wild vertical out there running free as Jaeger. That's a scary sight to see. So now Roger looking for the 4-2 at the half. I got the Mozzie in play again. And this time it's Shuttle on it, actually, instead of Slash. So curious to see how that works out. We're seeing a lot of uh, reading room defenses nowadays. Seems like um, the steam room, the engine room is kind of thrown to the by the wayside and I, I guess for a very good reason right having the window where you just vault in take control of it is kind of not great when you have <laughs> reading to play with right and rogue very wisely as well they will set up to hold on to the top floor three players pretty darn standard they can even have one player supporting them on the white stairs this is uh what we mentioned on um, cafe, for example, holding on to lobby, or uh, not a cafe, excuse me, on consulate, holding on to the lobby still requires you to hold on to the console chamber, right? So if your console defenses are, are fine, then you should be able to kind of replicate the similar style of success, obviously with a few changes, but there's a logic behind it. Same thing here, you know, you want to play in reading room, you still have to hold on to this top floor. Good position here for Gumfi, very difficult to deal with. If there's anybody downstairs to fight against them, but it's just there to stun out the players and using the ITA for Neptunes and his teammates to enter into piano. Yes, and it's close running around with Pulse right now. He's going to be one of the biggest threats to Sonic at the moment. I'm not sure if Sonics are aware of where he's at right now. Despite them having Slevin on board. Yeah, Slevin season right there, and here goes the Cat Mouse game. A little bit of wall banging going on from Slevin. He's unable to connect. Yep. Is Eclipse, he's going to go ahead and have all of his health things to cover. But now, Sonic's they're on notice. They know exactly where he is, and easily is going to go ahead and start off the round with a nice stop as Maestro, taking out Neptunes. So great play here, eliminating the Jackal. And Eclipse is still scanning in from below. There's nobody in Piano, and that's really what you're looking for. Now he should be able to find Slevin. Nitrosol will come out. Great positioning! Oh, shot, got shot in the air. air! Oh, God, no! Beautiful play there to save it. Slebin might have been the one to hit it. It was a great bit of play here in reaction time. Shuttle will go for the pre-fire as he watches the IQ go around the corner. Go for the sleek reload. Firing into the two in the back and Slebin takes so much damage. Same goes for Goddess and Gomfi. But the Sonics are securing kills. Vertical looks the wrong way. Great to drop one. Can he find the other? The Sofia comes around the corner. Solo and HP. They're going to pick up their teammate. Vertical is in such a dire position right now, and he's watching where his opponents will be coming from. Gumfi turns around the corner. Gets him. Four versus two. The Sonics in a huge advantageous position, but Gumfi gets taken out. Clips turns around the corner. He fires one. Gets the what? second. Goddess, what are you looking? He gets one kill, and Super is last alive. He's going to watch onto the diffuser. He knows that Super needs to run for this. Little time left, and there's Nitro Cell still left for Slash. Sonics will recover the diffuser. He walks right up. Oh, what? What? What okay. just happened? Did that shotgun just not connect? Super's a god. You don't question this, Dude, okay? That Super that doesn't die. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I just ult at four at that point. You can't, you can't, you can't stop the super point train, blank baby. shoddy. He takes Super zero damage. He doesn't care. He's invincible.
Super obviously what? Uh, racked up all the Dragon Balls, and he can take shotguns to the pelvis. I don't know how much milk he's been having, but those pones, man, <laughs> zero freaking damage. <laughs> That's a Skelly reference, because we're, we're close to Halloween. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what's going on anymore in life. Man, how? welcome to the past 25 years of my life. <laughs> Super, man. Super is a, a possessed man. Obviously. You gotta be possessed to to, to do some of the stuff he does. I mean, game it out. He put his team on his back with that one push. This is the Seskahonic Supers. The way he's been playing lately, I mean, rightfully so. The Supersonics. <laughs> That's a better uh, name. That's a better name. Sonics, I like that. I like that. Um, but Neptunes, he, he's been amazing this game, the opening things up. But um, pretty unfortunate for all. I love the rotation that Sonics had in order to go ahead and um, make that play happen. But um, that's just so unfortunate, man. Who? That was... That's a rough loss to take. Yeah, okay. I was expecting uh, interesting games this evening. Uh, now, you're, you're not saying that's not interesting? No, no, well, uh, I'm no, interested. I, I haven't finished my sentence. <laughs> Go ahead, Milos. Why are you judging a man? <laughs> this is exactly what I was looking for. Two games and now the third in the row. I think this is going to go the distance. So that, that tie? Might be a thing. Keep it in mind. Keep it in mind. It's doable. It's doable. I mean, Rogue's track record and the way this game has been back and forth. I mean... Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past me. But now with this being halftime, things can look drastically different. Yeah, Sonic's were able to win three rounds on attack, but hey, what if they win all rounds on defense? Or Rogue wins, you know, the rest of these rounds on attack. You never know how it's going to happen now that the Sonic's are switched. Now we're going to see a different type of game playing strategy coming in from both of these teams. So, <laughs> I'm still caught up on that super play. I, I, dude, that shotgun should have, he had him dead to rights. How did that not hit? Yeah, by the way, um, Mind of Kai said Milos. Hello. Oh, the, our admin. Mind of Kai. Yeah. What's up? The key or Kai? I don't know, Kai, key. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But here we are in the game. Let Man, us know. Chat, what do you think it is? Slash fires in and a Goddess runs away. Okay, taking just a tiny bit of damage here from the buck, but Rogue have a decent chunk of top control here. And they're not going to leave much of this floorboard if Slash is just left to be. Nah, Slash is going to be free, free real estate for him. Um, it's going to be interesting if he actually gets challenged off of a flanker or some type of rotation. But already, Rogue, they're working in hard towards his bakery area. Habana's Pell is currently on track to rip a hole through this door, getting a little line of sight. Let's try to frag out, get a pick or so, so they can go ahead and inch their way in. And from above, you're going to have Shuttle and also Slash Hug. Hmm. So we have two separate buddy systems currently happening, and they're both working together for a pinch to make a push in the kitchen. It's going to be pretty interesting to see. And that's definitely what you should be doing. Just make sure that if you lose a player, get the refrag ASAP. And Slash doesn't really have to worry about anybody coming up to him because the walls or the, the staircases are completely held up. You can't really do much against them here. It will lock things down and, ooh, close to spotting. Nitro comes out and so well dodged. He fires down, but the cloud escapes. Oh. Not for long, Gumphy drops in from the top floor. How did you not clear this? I was talking about players above. The vertical comes in. We've got 15 seconds left. Gumphy gets another one on the shuttle. Roger walking into a trap as Goddess gets one. Vertical on the refract to Slubbin. Eclipse keeps on firing, needs to go for plant. There's a smoke to support him, but Gumphy already got a 3k. One more left. Eclipse is right in the smoke. Fire all the way through it. Got us. Gets the kill, and the Sonics find it off of a masterpiece of a rotation and a flank from Gumphy. All right. There you have it. Got us with a great finisher, and great play all around for Sonics on that. So winning their first run on defense. Like I said, this match, you know, yeah, it was tied the first half, but the second half can be drastically different. And with the way Rogue were attacking, they, they really didn't wash their backs when they came to flanks and whatnot. The way he was able to drop down and get the kill, and they were able to easily clear out players that were in train from the attacking side. I mean, that says a lot. They were just ignorant to the fact that there could have been someone to really, you know, pounce on them like that. 
I still can't believe. Well, I was thinking about that, that super too. Si I was thinking about that too, just now. Dude, I, literally just thinking. Dude, he took a shotgun to the. He was low on HP. He took a shotgun. He should have died. Why would you ever question Super, though? Uh, dude, uh, my existence is about questioning Super. What do you mean? <laughs> Look at Neptune's man, nine and four. This guy is having such a great day right now. Um. In regards to Mozzie in these matchups, we, or just Mozzie generally throughout the entirety of the day, we haven't seen much coming from that operator like we did last play day. So hopefully Slepman can go ahead and take off with him. I would love to see it. So here it is. Gumphy on Valkyrie. And okay. just cameras. Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. It's going to be... Pretty funny if they do try to spawn peek because Rogue, they're notorious for spawn peeks, and <laughs> he's in a position to possibly do it. He's looking for it. He goes, and he gets it. Eclipse is there gone. Oh, my. Gomfi again. Look. Look, all it takes is just bring in the Euro Bros, and you're good to go. That's all it takes. Just admit it. Okay. The Europeans came out to play, man. That, that's well, a great literally. way to start the game, you know? You take out Grillock and you, by taking her out, you allow yourself to be able to have more flanks and rotations around Cafe like you did last round. So, hey, you mark that up as a W. So, pretty quiet on all fronts right now is easily going to go ahead and check the surroundings around him as he Clear. works this reinforced wall right now hitting in the piano. Of course, it's going to be a main focus, but they're highly aware that there's going to be oh, good somebody God. underneath. He needs the two X Kairos for later. So yeah. right now, okay, it's a great thing that he spots the Valkyrie camera because now he's unsure if there's going to be someone below to nitro him. He needs his teammate to kind of confirm all of this, but he opens up an extra bit of the wall here using the second X Kairos. There's new jammers already in, but you can't really deal with them uh, other than coming in from below and and right now rogue don't really have the manpower to execute such a plan yeah still able to find their way in and despite losing a player early they still have an opportunity to go ahead and um, wrap things up to work out in their advantage slevin holding it down and he's not going to see anybody just yet and yeah this is a, it's like a stalemate like barely anybody's moving right now especially on defense everyone's just stuck but slash Working his way up above in Hatch over near Cigar. Wonder what his next play is. The rest of his team, they're pretty spread out from each other. But the Diffuser's currently going down. Yeah, easily he's just not wasting any time. Okay. Nitro does not connect. He's in, and he actually walks away. They're solo on HP. How? How is he able to just walk in and get to plant? But you know what? It doesn't matter because Vertical, he's going to jump on the board, taking out the God Super himself. But working his way up red stairs, Gumphy, you're going to have to look to your right. There's going to be a player right there, but he's going to go ahead and challenge it anyways easily. It's going to shut him down, and Slash gets another kill for Rogue. Make that three straight for Rogue, and Slepin has an answer back for his team. Now, all alone is the main roamer on this team. He's going to find himself in a 1v3, make it a 1v2 now. Slepin cleans up the kill on Slash Hug. There's not enough time left, and I believe it's too late. There's going to be a peek from the hatch, and with two players peeking at the same time, and time not in his favor because I believe it was too late by then. Yeah. Yeah, the round was won by Rogue. It was already over. Even if he had run back to the diffuser, it would have not even been enough for it in the end. And it's key, yes. Key. Then it's what key. do you write okay. a K-I-E if it's key with a key E Y. He wants to be edgy. He wants to be different. Alright. Fair enough. Alright. <laughs> Remember, you're 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 special and different just like everybody else. <laughs> so, 4-4 four, four tie here on round number 9 of the start. It's Bar Cocktail again from the Sonics. We'll see what they change up for this one because they realize they are the ones that messed up, right? They yeah. had the early fragments. Oh, they did. Clips. They, they, were in, they were in 5v4 throughout the whole round. And in the end, it somehow continued to be a 4v4. And somehow they just brought it back. It's just... I don't know, man. It was... I don't know how that actually happened, but having the the Habana is not as great as 
bring in Thermite for this sort of this sort of play. And obviously the Thermite is banned for a reason. But Rogue kind of play themselves for this one. I'm still perplexed on how easily he was able to go ahead and um, work his way in. And mm -hmm. they were able to get the plant off. And I believe it was a 4v5 and still at the time. That was actually pretty impressive, and I didn't see that coming at all. Especially considering the fact that players on Rogue were so spread apart. Yeah, they were watching each other from angles, but um, I just didn't expect that. <laughs> oh, that was a huge breakdown from Sonic, especially in regards to Intel and holding down lanes from getting into sights. That was a big mishap on their end. They, it seemed like they had, yeah, they obviously had no idea because someone called it out. Mm -hmm. was able to get the plant, but um, they, they need more Intel on their side, especially when you have Valkyrie on the board. You can't, cannot expect that to happen. So, already in the game, it's all quiet for now, and Gumpy doing his support thing on Valkyrie, looking through cams, seeing who he's going to be able to frag out, and Vertical's going to find somebody on the camera currently. Shuttle. Yeah, the, the intel has been spread. They know exactly where this guy is, and it's all about pinching him at the moment, but hiding behind that pillar, he's going to be untouchable at the moment. But a little bit of drone play and oh. just clear to roam through. Shuttle's gonna work his way in. Okay. But Slash Hug with a nice little nade. Blowing up Gumpy and taking him out, put him in the graveyard. Yeager's watching here, but the flashbangs burning out the ADSs. They'll force Neptune's back. Actually, yeah, he's he's now set even closer to the mini bars, and actually he's gonna drop off and play from reading. So Rogue will have to deal with him at some point in the round. Maybe you'll see the Jaeger just rotating rotating back up the white stairs. Drones have come in. There's smooth jammers everywhere. You want to deal with them? Deal with them from below. Can't do that or don't want to do that because we're at the halfway point. Completely fine. Make sure you just have the rotation holes and Rogue will go for the same setup as last time. However, they do have that one man advantage. Slebin setting up the nitro cell. No, so close to it. He's watching for players in piano, and he wants to throw it up so in close. Cigar. He gets it up and does not hit anyone. Slevin losing the Nitro, but at least he stays alive. Be a great gun for hire for later on in the round. All right, so with that falling off the charts, Ooh, still. That's, it's a team drone that'll remove. Yeah. Wasted utility and, and time wasted on top of that even. But Rogue still up in players, and uh, yeah. They expanded that gap greatly. It's vertical. He's going to get the... Yeah, Super is going to be taken out. But looking through a bullet hole. Neptunes is still looking to extend his streak. Oh, my God. Yo, Neptunes! The nice kill on Shuttle. Shutting him down. What a great answer. And that's the kill that Sonic's needed. Sophia currently shut down out of this round. A great play, as you say. And Sonic's will be able to take control of the bathroom again. So Maestro camera all the way down the hallway here. In the white stairs, oh, easily oh. great pick off, but he gets picked off as well. Goddess is in, Goddess gets another one on the slash. And now they'll have to push her at the same time. Rogue drop down and find the kill. Sonics lose it out after losing two players early on the round. They had the play, unfortunately, just lacking the manpower. Yeah. That, that play from Neptunes was just nasty. That's a nasty angle. Yeah, Neptune's definitely holding it down for his team, but um, Valkyrie, I want to see better plays coming in from her, and she's not going to be chosen this time around. Valkyrie was really good when it came to getting off that early pick, and after that, we didn't see much from her, and it was pretty unfortunate, especially with the miss ni Nitro cells, because the Valk Val cams were shot out, and you know, not a lot of intel was being spread to where he was able to go ahead and you know, secure a kill with a utility. So. Yeah, he, he needed the info here, relied on the Valkyrie Black Eyes yeah. to tell him, like, okay, this is where I need to place everything, or at least I can hear players coming up above me, and then I can set up a Nitro to throw it through the pre-prepared hole that he made himself, the Mozzie, that is, with a secondary. Yeah. Just throw it into Cigar, maybe hit someone through there. But he couldn't really hear the footsteps correctly, and when he moved back into position to use those shotgun holes in a more efficient way. Uh, but opponents had already evac'd Cigar and the Nitro, which is nowhere to be found. So, yeah, overall pretty equal game so far and yeah. in kills in general. The Sonics will go back to the kitchen. Now, last time it was Gomfi, the one that was just doing so much work. Man, Rogue, clear, top to bottom. Come on, no time wasted. Yeah, and time is definitely going to be a factor this time around as well. Roll, make sure that they have to watch their back. And Nomad is going to be in play, and 
we're going to see Grimlock on the board. So Eclipse is going to get help from that whenever it comes to a possible flank coming through. So going to slow down the defenders just a little bit. Not as overpowered as Nomad's Air Jazz, but it still gets the job done. So Vertical is going to be on IQ, and I wonder what his route is currently going to be. I know he's going to be important for his team when it comes to getting rid of Goom Mines. They're actually pinging him out. But Slash Hug is going to work the top floor, and I'm sure he's not going to work it alone. He's going to have a teammate or two with him. It's just all about how they're going to enter the building and work their way down from top to bottom. Definitely to make sure that a flank doesn't happen this time around. So Eclipse comes around, there he goes, snaps the default cam, and tracks as well deployed on the brown stairs. Fairly standard here from Rogue, and learned their lesson. As you're saying, they go in from the top, they clear things out bit by pit, and they won't have to worry about a flank later in the round. That does mean that they're going to have to be um, very mindful of where they open up for the floorboards here, uh, because they're going to be lacking when it comes to the time to just, okay, well, we're going to spend the next minute destroying uh, this floorboard because uh, a minute from now, <laughs> you're left with 30 seconds and right. you really need to have your setup done. The biggest and um, most important thing is the Habana to already be set to do her work, but Neptune's fine slash. Huh. So he gets him through one of the holes that he had opened up previously. Oh, my. And there's the Habana starting to do the work, but you need to be careful with your angles. I'm going to drone in. A rogue will enter into the bakery and destroy the mute jammer. There we go, finally gonna be used up. Yeah, with Buck currently being out of play, I mean, that's a sigh of relief for the defenders because that's an operator that consistently gives them issues. And giving an issue at this very moment is gonna be Shuttle. Super, once again, one of the early frags in the game. Hot start, beginning of the map. Things are starting to cool down now. He's been one of, I would say, the first two or three frags each time around this half, but still, even though Buck has taken out the game and his utility and skeleton keys to be able to open up the floor underneath him, you're going to have breaching charges mm -hmm. set by Shuttle to go ahead and finish the job that he started. Yep, breaching charges are definitely an underrated um, piece of utility. I want to say this is the meta game right now. Gomfi finds a great kill on a Shuttle. Takes down the Zofia, who's just holding on from the top floor. And there's Gonfi again. Now he's in control. The late flanks are working so well, but easily gets one on the refrag. The bearing nine does not connect. And they're fighting Goddess. Eclipse gets the kill. Find the diffuser. Go for the plant. You got time. You know, go for it. Perfect timing here. The tracks are doing work. They're slowing down Gonfi. He's been spotted. Eclipse, can he set the diffuser? Yes, he can, but so close. Gonfi oh! finds it! The head immediately into Eclipse! And the Sonics! Come back again, Valley. Third game in a row this evening, and we are gonna go the distance. Five five. <laughs> yeah, super great. Thank you. All right. So Gumphy was a man on a mission right there. He was a man on fire. God, he's so good. The way he was able to go ahead and um take over Buck's job and just continuing, you know reconstructing the floor underneath them. Okay, thank you, thank you for opening everything for me. Right. I would love to use them. Exactly. He said, hey, let me let me go on and I'll finish the job for you. And he he did a fantastic job doing it. It would have picked up, I believe, was it two kills up top? Because I know he got the refrag. So, okay, it was two kills up top, ran down, got rid of track singers on his way to kill the objective player, and clutched it out. So now we're looking at a tied game. And like you said, Milos, this could be <laughs> another draw. Well, you did call it. And it's close. It might be there. Because none of these teams are able to pull away from each other, and that's why we're at this Look, point. Look, man, if, if Rogue and Space Station are playing games, just go for tie. You know? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Gumphy and Neptunes, man. It's pretty, pretty amazing. I really love this um new Sonics team. I actually believe they have a lot of problems. And next year, yeah, even though... um. The original Sonic's team was pretty lackluster this year. I feel like next year they're definitely going to be a team that is going to be just way better than what we're even seeing right now. I don't know. There's something about this squad watching them. And even the rounds that they lose and they have an advantage, it's like, okay, if they can learn to not the way that advantage and just really capitalize on it, I mean, that's going to be special. I like this roster. I really do. Um, Rogue on the other end is still a, a mystery to me because... All of these guys are all stars. They're they're all all stars to me. Um, Eclipse, Shuttle, all of them, fantastic. And it, I scratch my head whenever I see them lose, you know, or find themselves 
where they're at when it comes to pro league rankings. Mm -hmm. To me, it just it doesn't make sense with the amount of talent on this roster. And I'm waiting for them to flip that switch. Just how long is that switch going to take to go ahead and, you know, just turn off? I want to see Rogue at the top of it. And especially when they won um, DreamHack Valencia, they showed signs and flashes of how great they can actually be as a team. I don't know what's happening right now for them to, you know, be at this level, but they deserve better and they can do better. I'm very correct, Vali. I have a tear in my eye. Shut up. It's just going down. So no, no, I mean, when you look at bad teams, I completely it's, it's agree. easy to laugh and say, oh, they suck. They're at the bottom of the list. <laughs> but I mean, these guys, they, they don't suck. They're they're actually really good. They're, they're fighting. They're fighting, that's for sure. And that's what you're looking for, man. It's If you lose a game, at least try your best to win it, right? Yeah. When, when you're just being hammered all the time, like Sisu early on in the, oh, in the season, I, I get it. But right now, work is being done. And teams have kind of realized, maybe it's it's a bit too late, but when I'm NA teams, specifically in relegations, excuse me for, for, for just a, a moment there, um, NA teams in the relegation positions have a much better chance of retaining their PL spots compared to EU teams. Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, you do have the likes of Obey and Parallax Gaming and Shrug, mm -hmm. but it's also, you know, the consistency of those teams and their experience Correct. in playing these professional teams. So, I mean, I would say they're more comfortable. They don't have to play against the likes of BDS, Fours, and Team Secret in order to stay in Pro League, which is a huge difference. Shout out to Europe, man. The talent over there is insane. Thanks, buddy. I'm okay. the only I'm the only European EU, EU talent, so I'm like, yeah, let's yeah. go. <laughs> All right, so already over here in um, Christmas and Piano Vertical, he's going to be free. He's going to be by himself, and a little bit of drone work is going to help him out in regards to moving on. But 40 seconds left to go. Time is everything right now, and everybody's left alive. But take a look at the defensive oh. stack right now as Neptunes continues on, slaying out. Slash Hug becomes a victim of his in this round. So with that being the first kill, now time is dwindling down even more. Neptunes is at half health, but he can work it. He can make things happen. There's an evil eye in place, and Vertical definitely notices it. So if anybody runs down White Hallway, they can drop him, and Eclipse drops Neptunes. But he drops right into Slubbin and Goddess. They're going to get a kill each. The Valkyrie turns around, and the Sonics fire back on all cylinders. But what just happened, Rogue? I, uh, yeah. What just happened? No. No idea. No. No, God, no. So. Oh, my. Is this going to end in a draw? Sonics right now are at five points. If they win this, they'd be at eight. They would tie with TSM. Right? TSM have the final game of the evening versus Reciprocity. And what's the aggregate score right now? If we look at... Um, yeah, so... Rogue... Mm -hmm. Susquehanna Sonics and TSM. And right now it's a 7 4 for TSM. The Sonics play against TSM next play day. Really? So actually, yeah. it's You have two crazy battles happening in Pro League. Dude, battle for the bottom and the battle for the top. <laughs> yeah. If. Dude, if the Sonics win today and they, they, they play TSM next week and beat them, they would go to sixth place. Rogue would be in relegations, and TSM with them. Man. Yeah. Pretty unfortunate. So, this could be it. Sonics, how bad do they really want it? Five seconds left. Up by one. They are going to have to be perfect. They're going to have to win this next round. Rogue on the other end. A team that's been here before. They've been here a lot of times. This could be yet another tie for Rogue. Yeah, we make fun of Space Station Gaming for the ties, but Rogue definitely has not beat by one. <laughs> they can <laughs> expand that lead to two after this round, depending on how it goes. But now we're going to get a look at Capital, already with the pre-fire, and a no, a little bit of pre-fire, not to try to kill anybody, but to open up a line of sight mm -hmm. in the mining. And with his utility, we're going to see soon how well it's going to come into play to clear out defenders. Yeah. And Tao was here for like the entire time, so yeah, it, it's an oddity that we we only see him now. Oh, oh what a oh, close no. angle! Oh my, so close! Count your lucky stars. I think that's Neptune's in the back. Oh boy, yeah, it was. God. 
So, quad on all fronts once again. And um, Slash Hug is just holding it down right now. Like, he's not really being contented at all either, and I don't blame them because Shuttle's working down these red stairs, and he's waiting for anybody to try to come out and make a play. So, you know, the crossfire is pretty much set, but the goo mine is going to be, you know, a little pesty, and it's going to slow him down to tab it, but it's not going to make a big difference. Oh, this flank so good. Neptune's up close to his opponents. Yeah, there you go. Finally spots him, but close to rotation. Gumfi. Wow. One more slubbing for one another. Shuttle turns it into a 3v2. Doable here, but not if you lose Slash. Utility has been lost. You still can stun players in the back, but the Valkyrie's holding on. Run aside and, oh, Shuttle missing the shots again. But everything's being watched from above. Slubbin has the perfect position. And he should single-handedly win this round for the Sonics. Oh my god. So close. But this round can still go any way right now. Slash hug. About a quarter health right now. Shuttle hasn't even been touched yet. Oh, brown stairs held. Yeah. But Gumphy is looking to be a playmaker right now. And the shuttle is... No, no, the encounter. Yes, Gumphy. He's going to pick up a second kill. Shuttle's knocked out the game, leaving it all up to Slash hug. Who's Capital and he is not in a position to win this. With less than 30 seconds left to go in a long reload. I mean, Valkyrie, Mozzie, Kaid, the odds are stacked against him. Yeah, what do you do? A single goo mine will, will kill you here if it still sets somewhere close to that diffuser. Slubbin's watching. He's going to dive by that window. You can't do much at that point. No, his hand spotted. Come on, finish it. Accept your fate. <laughs> Accept your fate? There you go. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> I'm, I'm an optimist, so I'm hoping that I'm he... an optometrist. Okay. So, yeah. so you can see the reality of things. I can I'm definitely hopeful. see the reality, and the reality is he's dead. Yeah. That's the round. Sonics go away with a victory off of massive, inhumane blunders from Rogue. Yeah, Seska and the Sonics able to pull that out, but um, Gumphy and Neptunes, like, they've really been the stars of the show. Um, great effort all around from everyone else. Um, great play from God. His super has been fantastic. Um, hey, 7 5. Yeah. Unfortunate for Rogue, but Sonics, they needed this win. It, it means a lot to their team. Super pulled it out in the right moments. Like, Super's timing can have been. And the, the, <laughs> the luck. I don't know what. The trade. I don't know who is watching over his shoulders, but there's no way in hell. Lord Tashanka. That he survives that shotgun shell. But so be it. It even, happened. Even look, so that happened, and then the duel on white stairs, where he got down but was still able to get the kill. Yeah. Even though like he missed the first few shots after um the he got the, the kill, the he's dropped down. on the floor. Nobody could finish him off, and then he still did work later it, in the round. Yeah. What matters is <laughs> how much how much you're doing in in rounds where your team is winning because yeah. those as kicks would like to, to call them very correct way of saying it these are impact frags they have an effect on you winning the round it it's yeah, it really I would agree. ties into your cost right it costs like how effective are you how present are you in every single round and in the rounds that there were won super definitely was present there's no way around it i know look man i'm the first one to be here and i'll be all for trash talk no 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 it's just like but, it was just like it was weird seeing super like in those positions so like it was yeah, actually obvious, getting kills like, right timing up shut up <laughs> sorry <laughs> watch him be on the interview too next he should be on the interview next <laughs> that'd be funny it's great i'm completely fine with it but like lady luck was on the side i don't know what super ate before the game started or who what god he prayed to but um do it again Continue to do it. Do it all next Pro League season. Well, you can pray to Goddess all day long. <laughs> it worked out, right? Exactly. So, um, yeah, great win for them. But, but back to the drawing board for Rogue. And what's really next for Rogue? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to say. If, if they had gone with a tie, it would have been something. But the Sonics winning now means that they get three extra points... They're tied in points with the, with TSM, but in general, they compared to TSM. Obviously, they they lose that yeah. um, in the tiebreak because seven four currently for TSM. They play one another on Wednesday night, so this this can be a complete reversal. 
And w who plays against Rogue? It's LG that plays them. And then on final play, they play 14. Guess who plays Rogue? TSM. Oh, yikes. That's rough. That's extremely rough. Yeah, and the even... Sonics, who are they playing? They're playing SSG. Dude, like, yeah, honestly. It's pretty insane. That, that fight for relegation spots is going to go on. Yeah. <sighs> And, you know, that, that draw against EG Sonics had on um, the 1st of October, yeah, they lost reciprocity back then, but, um, you know, they're, they're not on just, you know, that downward spiral. Hmm. Like, they're slowly picking their way up, and it's a rebirth of the Seska and the Sonics. So, we're going to interview Ready and all for you guys out there in the chat, so trust me, just wait up, wait up. But, um, yeah, even coming up next, um, TSM against reciprocity, like, there, there's so much behind on the line for that game as well. Dude, Reciprocity want to make it through, yeah. and TSM want to save themselves from relegations. Yeah. So, really, when it comes to just what's at stake, Dark Zero had the, the easier game today because they already had qualified. It was EG that really messed up in their game against LG. Yeah. But match of the day for that second spot could be TSM Reciprocity, in my opinion. It, it was just, man, TSM... They, they have the opportunity, but if they win, they it would be at the detriment of Reciprocity making it to land. So right. Rex hopes for Japan rest on It's TSM. so real. It's so real. It really is. And they win this there in first place. I mean, second uh, place. Correct. Reciprocity, if they win right now, they would so. get three extra points. They would be at 22 points versus EG's 21. Okay. Which means that who does Reciprocity play against next week? Dark Zero. And EG plays SSG. Correct. And last play day, Reciprocity plays as, uh, LG. EG plays Dark Zero. Okay. So actually, Dark Zero now has control of everybody's fates. Sorry, there's a lot to take in, and I know Dark you. Zero, start, so. Dark Zero. Dark Zero. Dark Zero. They can. They can. Is literally. So they are. Hard. They are playing the Game of Thrones right now. They. They control so hard. They can actually. Uh, <laughs> they can bring to Japan whoever they want at this point. Basically. They. They control everything. The, pup, the puppet masters, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. He controls bacon, controls... Well, what was your whatever. favorite play last map? That shotgun. It's going <laughs> to haunt me all night. <laughs> I want to see a slow-mo play of that. Producers, if you guys do we have do, do we have a replay of that shotgun? I want to sure see we it do. We're going to play it later. But I wonder if it like went through his legs, like, missed, or like what happened. Because it happened so fast. I'm not sure if my eyes deceived me, but I saw the chat go wild when it happened. It always do. Okay, so here it is. Thank, thank you for listening to our, our rambling, but um, we have the interview with Super from the Susquehanna Sonics. Let's go ahead and bring him up. <coughs> Yo, Super, what's up, man? How's it going? It's going I don't know, right. so dark, but all right. I, you look like a total badass right now with the hat on and the, the lighting. <laughs> I love it. But um, congrats on your win. Recently, we've seen a team change, and you know it's officially official now. Gonfi and Slubman came in, and your team looks brand new. You guys look great. Why these two, and how much do they help you guys out this time around? Um, I mean, they're both really good players. Obviously, I think they're kind of known in EU as like insane aimers, and that's what we've seen here. Unfortunately, obviously, we haven't been able to play with them up until you know uh, last. Wednesday and even then they were playing in Canada from an internet cafe so this is actually the first match we've been able to play with like everyone here right um, and I thought it was closer than it should have been I mean that one round I killed slash and the 1v1 was like I don't know what happened and then we all then we gave them back around with when the guy just planted with everyone alive even on a cam so like uh, I think both our teams made mistakes but uh, we're just better than they are <laughs> I love how straight up you are, man. Um, speaking of you being better than they are, this is on Cafe. And when the, the rework of Cafe came out, and even when they talk about the entire history of Cafe, um, everyone says, you know, Rogue is on Cafe. We saw him win an event, mostly due to Cafe. You guys beat him here. I mean, are they the kings of Cafe anymore? I mean, I pit Cafe against them uh, just because, like, I since Gio and I haven't been on the team, I just don't think they've been very good. They've kind of progressively got worse. Um, uh, you know, that we beat them both times this season. Right. Um, I just don't think there's a map they really can beat us on, except maybe like one, and that wasn't available to them. So I'd rather beat them on their own map um, and kind of step on their throat a little bit than go to a map that, you know, they might have a, 
less comfortability on. I like the confidence, man. Um, last question, and then I'm gonna let you talk to the chat. Um, talking about Rogue. I mean, your team, like I said, you guys are on a, a upward, um, you know, graph chart, whatever you want to call it, and you guys obviously look better. But Rogue on the other end, I mean, they've been pretty much struggling a lot. What needs to change with that team? Um. You know, Rogue has really good players all across the board. Personally, I think um, I don't know if it's the strats or if it's the roles, but um, I don't think some of their players have been as dominant as they have been. Like, I feel like Slash is an incredible player. Personally, I think he's the best player I've ever played with on this game. Um, and I know Eclipse is a really good player. I just don't feel and like obviously Vert is one of the best aimers. To be honest, I just don't think Shuttle and Easily have like been pulling. I'm not going to say their weight, but what we've grown accustomed to right. seeing from them, because you know they're like legendary players within our scene. And I just feel like they're struggling this season. And that's not to say that either of them are bad, because we all have like off seasons and whatnot. I just think that something on their team is not working chemistry wise. Um, and I would not. I, I, I mean, I, I expect changes to come from them, um, one or two. Seems pretty fair. But you know what? Lady Luck has been on your side this entire map. You were a part of some crazy plays and some crazy timing on your end. So I just want to say congrats for the win, man. And for this last segment, just go ahead and say whatever you want to the chat, the viewers, the fans that are out there. Um, I appreciate all the fans that kind of stuck by us, the people who kind of rallied around us when we were having difficulties getting Gonfi and Slubbin uh, able to play. Now that we're actually all able to play from the same location and not have, you know, issue, it seems like we had an issue every single day. Um, you know, hopefully we can rattle off a couple of wins here, finish the season, because now I think, you know, we're in that get out of relegation spot, which wouldn't be so bad now that I'm worried anyway. But it, it's a little less stressful if you're not in that spot. And I think we're now where it's us eight, Rogue eight or something like that. TSM eight, Rogue nine. And we have yeah. tiebreaker versus Rogue. So. Um, I think we're in a decent spot if we play like we should. Um, and if we don't, we'll be seeing relegations. Hey, super. You and your team keep killing it, man. And um, good luck. Good luck next play day as well, okay? Appreciate it, Billy. Uh, no problem.